Okay, so let's continue with this problem here. Uh, this is 339, this is the second half of it. We're going to find the change in the diameter. All right, so to do that first, we need to find the strain in A, use the Poisson ratio to get the diametric strain, and then using that in the strain definition, change in diameter over the original diameter to get the change in diameter. So delta L, well, we know that the change in length in A, that's the delta L. Right. That is um, the reaction force minus the reaction force in A times the original length of A over AE. All right. So I didn't explicitly get the reaction force before, but I can do that now. If you go back to the prior video, and we can get that from equation 1b, that'll give us that. That gives us that reaction A is equal to the 80 kilonewtons minus 26.7 kilonewtons meters times x, but we found out in the prior part that x is 1.53 meters, okay? So this will give me Ra equal to 39 kilonewtons. And then obviously Rb from some of the forces in the y is going to be uh, 41 kilonewtons. Okay, since they both have to add up to 80. Okay. Um, all right. So okay, so we're good to go here. So delta A is equal to um, the 39 kilonewtons, okay, times its original length, which is um, 220 millimeters over AE, and we figured out AE before was one. 516.4 times 10 to the 6 newtons, or mega newtons, if you will. Okay, um, so the 10 to the minus 3rd of the millimeters cancels out with the newtons, the kilo of the newtons, so that gives me now um, 39, 22 times divided by 516. Four times ten to the ninth. I'm sorry, ten to the sixth, right? Ten to the sixth, and that gives me one point six six times ten to the minus five. Now that's going to be meters or in millimeters. That's uh, point zero one six six millimeters, right? Because that's one two three four. Out of the uh, three, one, two, three, four. Uh, actually, it's another zero, right? Excuse me, right? So that this is uh, 10 to the minus first, second, third. Now, uh, we know the, the elongation. That means I can get the strain in A. That's going to be uh, 1.66 times 10 to the minus 5 meters over the original length, which is the 0 0.220 meters. And that is, well, actually, I could have gotten it more directly just for two force of times Young's modules. Um, so that gives me 7.55 times 10 to the minus fifth strain units. Okay? Millimeters per millimeter. All right, now we know that. I can get the diametric strain.
from this relation, from this relationship, from the Poisson ratio uh, relationship. So the diametric strain is minus uh, 0 0.35. And actually, I lost the minus sign here, so this should be a minus, a minus, because it's a compression. So that's a minus 7.55 times 10 to the minus fifth. And that gives me 2.64 times 10 to the minus fifth. This is positive, so the diameter is getting bigger. And then using this relationship, I can get that the change in diameter is the strain, the diametric strain, times the original diameter, which they tell me is about 30 millimeters. And that gives me an increase of 7.9 times 10 to the fourth millimeters. So the diameter of uh, support A increases by 7.9 times 10 to the minus fourth millimeters. Okay?